Looking Back to Move Forward, A 10-Year Journey. December 20, 2014. In moments in which you are bound by time and space, you are a point of focus that is the perspective of one of the many aspects that is yourself. Let's begin with the perspective of your grounding point sitting at the top of the stadium as you look down on the infamous 3D game. You can feel the illumination of the immense stadium lights just over your head. These lights are your compassionate, beyond human self. From the perspective of your grounding point, these lights still seem above you. If you were to remember being one, or perhaps being all of the lights, you, too, would become beyond human. You would be light. In fact, you would become light body. Just as you are now soul inside and human outside, when you become the lights, you will be soul outside and human inside. The I that once was me will become the we, as your light body no longer lives with the illusion of separation. Hence, your I would be we. You now feel the yearning to become the lights and an inner tug to be aware of your humanness as a part of yourself rather than ourself as a part of your humanness. But, if you did become the lights, would you return to the stadium? Could you enjoy the game that you are all so busily cheering for? There are two teams down there, the bad team in the dark uniforms and the good team in the light uniforms. You understand that the teams wear uniforms so that the audience can tell the difference between the teams. They also wear uniforms so that each team member can tell who is on their team and who is on the other team. Otherwise, a good guy might assist a bad guy or a bad guy might assist a good guy. What if they all had the same uniform, the human uniform? Then it would be very difficult to keep track of the game. How could the audience know who was winning and who was losing? The game would be just a bunch of humans running around and interacting with each other. There would be no drama, no winner and no loser. But from the top of the stadium, it is difficult to differentiate the uniforms. The light uniforms have become so soiled from rolling in the dirt that they are now as dark as the dark uniforms. Some of the audience, those sitting at the base of the stadium, can still distinguish between the light and dark, but most of them, who are actually fragments of your complete self, can no longer tell the difference. Nor do they care. You are bored with watching the game of good and bad. You do not care who wins, because you know that you are all on the same team. The constant conflict has become tedious to you, and you are now far more curious about the lights above you. As you look around the stadium, you see that more and more of you are tiring of the game and have turned your attention up towards the lights. How would it feel to be the lights? More and more of you look up into the lights, whereas only a few are still watching the game. Why even some of the team members have stopped their eternal competition to look into the lights? As more of you look up into the lights, rather than down onto what the lights are illuminating, the members of the audience blur into one audience. Even the members of the two opposing teams blur into the players. Many of them are also fed up with the game and climb up into the audience, so that they can better see the lights. The lights are living magnets. They embrace all of you with their essence, which is the feeling of freedom. The lights whisper into your essence, wait until everyone is ready to see us. Then we have a surprise for you beyond your imagination. You don't want to wait, but yet you know that you will. You will wait until every fragment of yourself is ready to release the game. You will use the force of your waiting to build an energy field that even your most lost self cannot ignore. You will then allow the impetus of this field to build until not only the entire audience becomes the light, but also the stadium, the parking lot, the earth under the parking lot, in fact, all of it, all the earth, all the planet, shall become the light. Then, and only then, will the 3D game be over. Channeled by Suzanne Lee. Suzanne Lee, PhD.blogspot.com.